to is like as far as you can go and then afterwards it just drops and it's like okay that's all we can do for now so we got to be pretty close to that um but before we do that i'm just gonna check one thing Whoops. Here we are. Okay, I know where we need to go. All right, so yesterday, um, pretty much what we did is now we need to get to the tower. Um, we did save the druid yesterday. We cleared out pretty much all of the goblin camp, except for like some, there's some pieces and other, uh, things like that that aren't perfect. But, um, what we have to do now is go through the under, the under dark, uh, which is actually a place that I wanted to go to anyways, rather than, uh, Let's see, so Roadside Cliff, I think, is the way to go. And then from here, we can start making our way there. I uh, see. And yeah, so up here. We got to level four, I believe it was, yesterday. Um, we talked to Druid Halson. Um... And now, now our, yeah, we're moving the parasite. We have to get to the towers, uh, dark place called Moonrise Towers. Now going back down here, this kind of works out anyways, because, uh, what's her face wanted to go down there? Um, shadow heart. So it kind of works out in that way. But, and I ran into the puzzle yesterday as well. I kind of forget how we got there though. Um, so where was that? Let's see. Oh wait, that was up there. Uh, okay. So currently, private yeah, picture. Okay, so right now there's only actually one way that you can even go, and that's actually the way that I wanted to go. So the two other routes you can't even take to get to the towers if you wanted to. Okay, um, let me see. Oh wait, so it's not right here. I Oh, it is over at the, we need to actually go back to the goblin camp. Oh God. It might put us right into combat. Oh God. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, well, we don't have really a choice here because we need to get back up top. 
there and then get back inside. So, uh, let's knock this out and then we can... Basically, we have to go back to that moon puzzle that we saw yesterday that I wasn't able to solve right away. Uh, luckily, this guy is only level one. And we do have some new abilities as well. So hopefully that'll help us out. Uh, let me teleport up here. Nice. And then I'm going to put this on myself as well. There we go. Oh, God. Look at how many there are. Kind of nervous for this one. I guess we'll see how it goes, though. Really? Infinium via. All right, cool. That's 10 feet. That's that. Of course they would go all the way up there. Great. And he's getting that high up uh, attack bonus too. Uh, good thing is I can also go up there. And then, uh, yeah, let's run this ability. Nice. Try taking out this one. Decent damage, though. Uh, healing. Okay. Trimmering field of magic that increases AC by two. They both do the same thing. make all the goblins come to me so that way because right now my people are are uh spread out enough where i can attack them from top down as well uh this guy's gonna come up here of course though and as long as he can't do a shove Critical miss. Nice. Huh. This one had to actually load in before I could even do anything there. I will say this was my biggest fear about leaving the, uh, the goblin camp and having to come back. Missed. Nice. So close. Wow. I didn't want to give him the free hit on me just in case. All right. Let's see here. I love how that's considered high ground, but this is considered not low ground. It's 
It's like they freeze for a second and they're trying to figure out what they want to do. Critical miss. Let's see, uh, everyone's kind of okay. The only one that's not doing the, the greatest right this second is Gale. Hmm. This ends up being successful though, then that would be really nice. Ah, oh, really? Just my luck. Uh, I'm gonna move him back here. Shoot. Yeah, has the worst luck, man. He goes down so much. It's it's like actually kind of embarrassing. How often? Did I actually apply sleep on me? Doesn't look like it. Too high up there, damn it. Oh, this one works. Take you. Nice. Yeah, I'd rather give that. Come on, you can do it. You can figure out what you're doing. so many to go through it's crazy out of all these there's only four of me it makes it kind of rough it's a good thing you got that heal unless if the next one just takes them down who's it on right now okay this guy. Shoot. Gail, you're an embarrassment to this team. Was sick, actually, because I took damage. He uh, fought back doing that ability. That's really cool, actually. All right, so here's the problem: I don't have enough spell slots to be able to teleport myself up there and revive him. So we're essentially one man down for the rest of the time. The only person that potentially might be able to get up there is Shadow Heart. And I don't know if she'll even be able to. out of spell slots now 
The good thing about Warlocks is they have a lot of abilities, though, that allows you to, uh, that don't require spell slots. Which, in that case, is nice. But, of course, your most powerful abilities, though, are the ones that are, have spell slots. Can I not go up this? I clicked on it. Well, hello game. Game. I click to go up. I can't do anything. Really? Saving throw, nice. Critical miss, or critical hit, ah, great. Necrosis. I, I, did they both die? I think they both died, or at least one did. Plotting next move. Dot dot dot. Thinking. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Ah, yes. Very hard to choose where you're going to go right now. Here we go. Nice. It sucks just waiting, like you do an ability and then you just have to wait until they're done. Like I only have four people. Meanwhile, you have what, like 25? How many is there right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 versus 4. Yep. And here we are once again. She's not doing anything. I think she's just straight up glitched out. I can't use any of my abilities. I can't move anywhere. She's just stuck there. Because I clicked on the wooden ladder to try to go up there and save the other guy. It sucks. Ah, uh, you know what I completely forgot too? Shit. I completely forgot I could have conjured uh, the imps to help fight back, actually. Hold up. I think I'm going to reload and... Cause, I mean, at this case, it's better off for me to do that anyways. Yeah, so... What we'll do here is we'll just, I'm just trying to get back into where we were at yesterday, which sucks. But I didn't clear out uh, outside for the, the goblin camp. I cleared it out completely inside, but uh, of course we're running into another issue. The other option that I have is honestly just waiting until, because right now you can, this is the only route you can actually take to get to the towers and you can't go any further. So the other option is just straight up saying, okay, well, we can't go any further <laughs> and not doing it. But I do want to go through that route. Um, the one that we're currently planned to go. So I guess it'll 
work out anyways, hopefully. Uh, before we do anything, let's conjure the imps. I don't think we changed anything. Yeah, we didn't even go anywhere originally. So right now I think we're good. The only thing potentially I might want to do is just check gear and things like that. Patch together sack. Okay. Leather armor. I feel like this might be useful for for Gale. For how often he goes down, man. A little much. Check weapons as well. Uh, no proficiency there. It's a two-handed, two-handed, uncommon two-handed, melee weapon. Nope, nope, nope. Rather keep her with the shield. Might as well wear this. Oh, really? No proficiency light armor. Ah, shoot. So you're telling me he's stuck like this? Oh, man. It always makes you feel like you have so much ge more gear than you actually do. Alright, wait. And then throw water here. This here. This. I don't know what's faster, dragging and dropping, or just... Your yo's going on, bad. How you doing? Jeez, that's too much for him. Do that. Don't like a villain? Same here, same here. All right. That's all good. We got our imps. We got everything. Let's uh, give it a try going to the goblin camp. Ah, here we go. Okay. Nice. Gotta be careful here, we only have two, and we can only use one of these level one abilities. Shoot. Done. Waste. A lot of goblins, I know. Literally. It sucks because I have I have to go this way too. Um
put this on. Let's put it on Gale. Because Gale is a little baby that can't survive any attacks for some reason. These imps, man, they make a hell of a difference. It's like Will's being the one targeted right now. And there's one hit to uh, Gale. Actually, didn't take him down by too much. Once this is solved, I think we're kind of good on combat for a little bit, which actually isn't too bad. But it's the, the fact that we actually have to get through it first. And we missed. Twelve V four. With D and D odds? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. We will persevere though. I will do my best. The best of my ability. To get the hell out of here. Wait, what is that? Sleep? Critical miss. I wish there was a way to get your characters immune to frightened because way too often they become frightened. You think that with all this power and everything that they wouldn't be frightened. Damn. At this point, I just want to take out the closest one to me. The only problem is all these guys are going to start rushing. And then it's going to be interesting. Once that ogre gets over here, man, I'm pretty worried too. It's not that he's going to be the worst in the world, but if he does one, like, decent hit on one person, I don't know. If he doesn't have an AOE ability, then it won't be the worst thing in the world, but still. He just has a lot of uh, HP. You already did your action. Okay, good. I was gonna say if he did an action and then he already and then he uh, does another one, that's ridiculous. For a little goblin, I wouldn't understand how a little goblin would be able to do two actions and and move. Meanwhile, us being the superior uh, uh, warriors that we are, can only do one and one. Is that guy hiding up there? Come on. Come on, enemies. Let's speed it up here.
All right, there's my one turn. Now we just gotta wait for like four more goblins to move and then I can make another turn. You can do it. There you go. All right, cool. Nice. That creates an area that they can slip on to. Uh, who needs healing the most? Will needs some, so I'll heal him up a bit. And then... Attack rolls and saving throws. Let's bless everybody. sleep I go have a good rest of your stream homie hey bad I appreciate it man get some rest and uh talk to you soon damn almost almost took him down And that's why I moved away a little bit, of course. Shoot. All right, sounds good. They would put that thing right there. It only has 10 HP though, so that's not the worst in the world. Slightly drunk, yet they're able to do such heavy attacks. Missed. Did that put to sleep? Me.
Oh wow, I'm back up. Yo, what's going on, Yobex? How you doing? <laughs> Alright, take out. Please take him out. Critical. Nice, nice. Probably should be going up going up for those archers up there because they have a bonus just stop my name all right sounds good lurking <laughs> damn it oh god what what type of movement was that bruh I need to start working on the big boy. Do a quick save. Damn, Wyatt. Or Will. I keep saying Wyatt. It's Will. Yo, what's going on, sunshine chick? How you doing? We're almost there. I'm trying to see if I can take down this damn giant ogre here, and then we'll we'll be uh, I think. Oh shit! He just put everybody to sleep. What's he about to do? I went from what like thirty. God damn it! I don't know. It's gonna be a little close now. He completely knocked out one of my guys. Another one's about to go down. Gale is somehow still alive. And Shadowheart is... She's okay right now. One of my imps just took a lot of damage. Shadowheart just took some damage. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a close one now. to try to kill this guy I would roll a one in a case where I have to roll something better than one I would roll a one 
that's my luck. I can't even get right there. The only person that I'll be able to get right there is is Will, and he's like one hit. God damn it. And Will's asleep. Oh God. This is gonna be a nightmare. I'm just gonna say it right now, if we fail this fight, then I'm just gonna take a break because this shit's ridiculous. So I think honestly, if we fail it, then I'm just gonna go back to Divinity and continue with that. Cause I kind of still do want to finish that game. Let's fly over there, right there. And then one, one. Somebody's back up. Oh. Oh. There goes an imp. Critical miss. Come on, man. You got to be on my side today. There's three people down. There's no way. There's literally no possible way at this point. Unless if I got everybody up and then everybody was able to miss or dodge one attack. That's the only case scenario where I'd be able to survive this. If every attack that was made in the next few turns is missed or lightly taking damage, then I'll be able to survive. He's just knocked down again. And I'm not gonna be able to take another chance until after they all move. Yep. Yep. There's some death. I right, it's over. There's no way. It's it's not possible. Wait, that's a re uh There's a a reload. Man, this game is unforgiving. Oh. One sec, let me just check something. Hmm. I did save right here, but Ah, shit. Dog.
There's still a chance. Reloading. All right, hold on one second, chat. I need to go check something real. 